Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, hi to you guys. My name is Arman J. Bin Jordan. My message number is 269X66. Today, we will discuss about the drunk driver, right? So, this issue about the drunk driver is not the new issue. It's the current issue nowadays. It has been hot spot, hot story in the newspaper, on uh, in the television. We can see this issue about the drunk driver. Um, this is not only about the uh, increasing in the incident about the that causes by the drunk driver is actually more than that it's in effect to their family to the victim especially when they die in this incident so we now we will discuss about the drunk driver uh, we will be talking about the causes of the incident so i think the most uh, the main reason why the driver get the got drunk because of the influence of alcohol as we know alcohol can make the driver lose their concentration and uh, lose their balance in term to make decision if they want to press the brake or speed their bicycle and uh, it can cause many things because when the driver uh, get improved by alcohol uh, they don't think well so they just speed up and don't brake if they are look the car then then they can think well so they will smash the car and got the incident so they are the main reason and i think also it's about that not only the drunk not only the dream, it's about the drug only. Drug uh, is, in, can make the people lose, con lose balance too. Thank you. Hi, my name is Pumabit Bidamasi and today I will be explaining further to this topic and giving my points in this discussion. So my first point which is uh, the source of beverage is easily to find because uh, this are sale in a convenience store or grocery store openly to public so uh, all alcoholic beverage uh, in the public are sale openly uh, so the, the drinkers can buy them 24 7 in uh, everyday life so uh, which is this is uh, the possible outcome that can be lead to the occurrence of uh, drug, drug, drug driver in uh, everyday accident uh, during uh, festive year uh, that specially so uh, my second point which is uh, club so in the club uh, they provided liquor and or alcohol which is can be accessed during the night only but because uh, because of this situation uh, they drink in the uh, in uh, in the night so and then they, they come home which is already drunk so they will be more as uh, uh, openly to danger which is lead to an accident that affect to others uh, therefore they can assess uh, in uh, in the club the most important causes to the incident is because the law of self-awareness but I believe all Malaysian citizens already know about the law of the road. When we on the road, we have the law. When we drunk and we driver at the same time, so it will be a uh, heavier punishment. But people keep ignoring about the law and it will be useless when the law cannot get justice. Hi, uh, there's a uh, various way to uh, reduce this situation or reduce this case. Uh, to the minimum uh, and then uh, which is we can be enforcing a ban on distributing or sale uh, of the alcohol so uh, and then uh, for the drink driver we can be uh, apply them with more compound so in Malaysia uh, in Malaysia it is uh, common for them to drink and then uh, this is there are situation uh, they uh, occur in accident which involving two victims that are are the families that are working and then they are the drunk drivers that are uh, drinking so they are commonly here that um, the drunk driver uh, will be arrested but it cannot be uh, uh, easily uh, easily be affected on them because um, they are not uh, incapable incapable way of thinking uh, so rational because they are intoxication in 
alcohol so this will affect so other families which is their loss because uh, they uh, uh, that someone to depend on uh, if the family are uh, really bad situation in this COVID-19. Now, when we're talking about the drunk driver, is we must uh, relate it with alcohol. So WHO is called World Health Organization uh, has been confirmed that people that consume the alcohol uh, every time they are consumed, it will be increasing the risk of the organ damage. And also, alcohol can make the immunization of our body be low. So, it can, in uh, current situation about COVID-19, we can see immunization is very important to fight the virus. So, when, we, when the people took the alcohol, they actually decreasing their immunization. So, uh, this is very helpful and we can have an adverse effect on both drink, drinker and also accident victim. So alcohol is not very good for your health too. And um, just not about the drunk driver only. Thank you. All right, uh, let's continue with this discussion. Uh, the effect of the uh, driver of uh, intoxication while driving uh, can lead a huge uh, effect on other victims. Uh, so uh, when we look back at uh, this, uh, the news which is uh, some of the drivers actually uh, uh, happen in accident and cause uh, a disease on other family which is uh, very sad so um, in my uh, impression uh, in this situation is uh, the family which is uh, have a family disease uh, uh, have lost their place to live or uh, their, their someone to depend on uh, and then um, in this situation uh, accident uh, caused by the carelessness of the dr drunk driver and then uh, it's, uh, it's difficult to be uh, legalized and to be contained uh, because when the victim uh, dies uh, they leave their families uh, and then especially uh, if the disease uh, at the head of the family there will be uh, very uh, impact on the uh, on the family uh, which is giving them a hard time uh, to depend on if the family is died Alcohol prohibition is not possible in Malaysia actually because Malaysia official region is Islam right so if we took the example from a non-Muslim country such as Taiwan that uh, have been applied the law that uh, every drunk driver will, uh, will drive in drunk situation so the driver must be dead punishment dead mandatory so um, this this non Muslim country, right? So Malaysia should be more, more aware to this law and get passed to this law. Not just because I will have uh, diversity and anything non Muslim and Muslim. It's not that. It's about the alcohol is dangerous to all people. So I hope Malaysia and uh, government, actually Malaysia, Malaysia government and our citizen, can get involved. Can can, can work together to uh, involve this. Uh, cases about the drunk driver in the future thank you and let's continue to this topic uh, which is uh, the intoxication of the drunk driving uh, and then the effects on other families so in my impressions uh, that I know uh, on the news recently uh, that during this pandemic uh, which is um, if the callousness of the driver, that which is in uh, intoxication while drinking, can lead uh, others uh, in accidents that really impact others' families, which is uh, if their fathers are actually uh, in work while uh, uh, in accident uh, while work, and then the families are uh, lost. Uh, the place to depend on and then the source of income in the family which is will be cut so uh, 
Therefore, uh, this family will be suffer more than the drunk driver because uh, the drunk driver which not uh, will be uh, it contained uh, by the police uh, and then the law which not cannot be applied to this drunk driver because they cannot be thinking um, uh, uh, because they are not cautious. So they are. This is very difficult to uh, capture the truck driver and then we're helping the other families uh, and this situation is really bad because uh, the families that are half of the victim in the accident that caused by the carelessness of the drunk driver which is, is uh, very tragic and then this is not going to be uh, help in the current situation during this pandemic so let's talk about my opinion on this situation which is um, uh, in my in this issue uh, I am a, as a Muslim as per se uh, that I know the alcohol which is intoxicating and it's really bad so really uh, I am agree with banning or uh, stricting the law of selling the alcohol beverage so, so openly that can be more uh, can more be monitored uh, by the government which is can lead less uh, accident uh, happen and uh, effect to others uh, which is very very uh, good and I will be voting for that uh, that's all for my uh, point and then we will be continue to other point of my friend will be saying uh, next this drunk driver is not enough punishment to them it cannot give them the true lesson that we want to give so i think the most punishment the most suitable punishment is that penalty or the drunk driver will cause the victim the death of the victim uh, must uh, pay the family with uh, money and support them in financing like 10,000 per year so it can be a heavier punishment compared to the already punishment that I think is not suitable to the and not reasonable to the victim thank you